Hey, what's up guys? Um, so I actually just got done shooting a little short video for my 30 out 6 Actually, the barrel's still warm, and it's keeping my hands warm, which is really nice. Because it's like, freezing. It's about 10 degrees out here, and I forgot my gloves, and I forgot to pay for targets. <sighs> Rough day. I did have a final earlier this morning, so I, I blame that. So anyways, um, this is my first time taking the AR out to the range. I'm going to shoot a few different, um bullets at they got a metal targets out here which is nice uh, I got some Fiokis just a regular 55 grain they're kind of cheap stuff um, and then I have some of these green tips which I'm actually not gonna shoot today at the metal targets I'm gonna be nice because this I'm not sure how this will treat the metal targets. so I'll switch them up I'm probably gonna get out my um, I got some WP I got some wolf ammo but I might just spend some time with this Fiocchi stuff. I like it. So, but anyways, let's get on with it, I guess, right? Hitting the 100 tar yard targets really well. That's good. Ah. All right, time to go out to 200. Probably got one left that actually didn't miss it. Nailed it. Nailed it. I actually started my car so that I can go over there and get my hands warm. Anyways, I'm really impressed with this uh, this AR upper. Not gonna lie, uh, I was a little skeptical, skeptical at about you know 400 bucks, um, and not hearing about Daytona Tactical much other than like my uncle. Um, but you know, I'm really impressed with uh, how well it shoots. Now this is the 223 Wild Chamber. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard me say that enough. But uh, I'm also really impressed with how well the 1 to 8 twist rate shoots 55 grain. Granted, yeah, uh, it, shoots about, it shoots the 62 grain a lot better, a little bit more accurate. But, you know, it shoots the 55 real good, and that's the cheap stuff. So, uh, let me hit that, uh, the turkey way out there at 200 a couple more times, maybe two more times, and then I'm going to go out to 300 and see how it is. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Alright. Let's go to 300. See how it goes. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. A little low. That was my bad. Pulled it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. And that is while the barrel's getting hot. One thing I do have to say, I really like... I don't know why people talk UTG scopes going, and I know that they had some bad problems with, you know, other things, um, but this UTG scope is really nice. The mill dots work really, really well. Um, at 300 yards, I'm sighted in at um, 50, so at 200 yards, I, I'm dead, I should be dead on, 
300 yards, it's one mil dot down. Works perfect. Works really good. So, uh, put a few more rounds through this. I'm going to be, I really like shooting at that 300 yard range. So, we'll see how it goes. <sighs> Alright guys, so I'm now going to be shooting some um, Wolf, I only got 20 rounds in here, but I'm going to be shooting some Wolf 55 grain, this is a steel case, FMJs. Um, where I work, I got these for like 5 bucks uh, for 20 rounds, so really hard to beat. I've shot some out of this, um, but I've never shot it at range, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to start at the 200, I'm going to go out to 3. Okay, uh, 200 yard turkey. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. Go to 300, see how these guys do. Just low. I, I hit its actual foot. That was my bad. I held. I held that on. Miss. Miss. All right. I'm missing. Give me a second. All right, I hit it that time. Um, and this is actually to be expected. This is why I don't sight my guns in with uh, Wolf or WPA. Um, their velocities aren't nearly as high as um, Bioki or Hornaday. Um, so this one's dropping almost a mil dot and a half, kind of like it's right in that space right after the first mil dot where the Fiokis were hitting dead on at that first mil dot. Check that. We'll we'll see. Yeah, they were definitely a little bit more sporadic than the Fiokis. I'm perfectly okay with that. I'm not going to be shooting 300 yards with Wolf. Um, so, but I, overall, this gun is really impressing me. Um, and I really enjoy shooting it, obviously. My first AR, I'm sure everyone loves sh shooting theirs. Um, so, uh, anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to put this on. I'm, I'm hoping to cut out all the time, so I'm running to my car to warm up my hands. Um... But, uh, you know, thanks for watching. Um, like I said, um, just want to let you guys know that um, this AR build, for the, for the money that it is, I think it's uh, an amazing, it's an amazing uh, investment that you can make if you're kind of an as, avid outdoorsman or just kind of a guy that likes to go to the range. Um, you know, bolt actions are really nice. 
the, they are always going to have a place. They're they're always going to be long shooters um, and very accurate. But this AR has um, impressed me um, farther than I thought it would. So thanks. Uh, like and share. I'll uh, continue uploading AR videos and videos of that nature. Okay. Thank you. Also, I'd like to add. Um, one reason why this really impressed me today is I went I went through about 40 rounds yesterday of pretty dirty, cheap brass ammo, um, and I didn't clean it. I didn't clean it at all, and it's shooting like that. Um, I'm not I'm not one that normally doesn't clean their gun. I normally clean it after every time I was out, but for you know a reason I couldn't yesterday. Um, couldn't get to it, and you know that's really impressed me. Really, really impressed me. So again, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe.